At Cypress Bend Vineyards, we're trying to really show an example of the cultivars themselves. So really beautiful and pure expression of the fruit. We're growing three different varieties of muscadine. That's Carlos is a white one, Magnolia is a white one, and the Noble is a red one. And we're doing three very simplistic dries to kind of showcase uh, the pure beauty of each one of those single varieties. Here at Lumio Vineyard, we grow the muscadine grape, and we've got about 11 different varieties of grapes. Most of our grapes are juice grapes, and uh, then we have certain kinds that we harvest to sell to the grocery store industry, and we have a few uh, acres of UP. But we try to have different varieties that come off early, some come off mid-season, some come off late, white and black grapes, so that we kind of fulfill the spectrum of the muscadine grape industry. The muscadines love this hot, humid climate in the southeast United States. So in the southeastern part of North Carolina, the muscadine wines do really well. They thrive down here. Um, they thrive in the heat. They thrive in this excess humidity where other varieties um, that are not muscadine probably wouldn't be able to survive the, the pressures that are on the muscadine vine. The muscadine vine just thrives here. And because of that, we're able to produce really fine wines that are a very high quality. Um, we understand our, our vineyards, we understand our vines, and therefore we're able to, to pull fruit out of it that really expresses uh, the muscadine characteristics. And that's what we're really trying to do is produce a wine that shows what muscadine can do without um, any falsification. Blue Mill Vineyard is a family gathering place. We try to include the whole family, young and old. We offer a lot of different products that are non-alcoholic. So again, when we have entertainment, we make sure that we have entertainment that the entire family will participate in. One of the big reasons for uh, coming to Cypress Bend Vineyards, for a lot of people at least, is our Jazzy Friday night. Uh, beach music from 7 to 10 by some of the uh, largest, best beach bands in uh, North Carolina, most out of Myrtle Beach, and also the uh, Lumber River. Uh, the northern terminus of the Lumber River State Park uh, is just north of Wagram, uh, and a lot of people enjoy paddling down. Some paddle down to here and take out. Uh, we pick them up and take them for a wine tasting and bring them back to their boats. And so those are the two things I think that we stand out plus our good wine. We're trying to move that muscadine image forward a little bit into the future, into drier wines, wines that are accepted more widely on all palate scales. We want to show that this is the indigenous grape of the southeastern uh, region, and we want to show that it can pair very well with some of the local foods, and we want to get the word out there. It's very important for us that people start to recognize muscadine as a definitely quality, high-end grape that can produce beautiful wines of expression and terroir just as any other cultivar that's out there. <laughs>